Hebrews. This is a free lawnmower I picked up. I just I power washed it the other day. It's still it's got a little bit of dirt on it. Um, it was I was told sitting in a shed for a while and just abandoned, and then someone just decided to give it away. This is a Craftsman with a Briggs engine with a six horsepower, I believe, Primer style, Quantum. Love them. Uh, pull cords messed up. It does feel like it has compression. And it has, and do you believe someone has changed the spark plug at least once on it? So let's get into this. Uh, just, I know I'll need to redo the uh, recoil. Uh, it does have a mulching blade on it, a gator, ba uh, gator style on it. Uh, there's no bag, but I may have a bag for it. That's in pretty bad shape, but it, I think it might fit on it. Let me, let me get set up. Uh, I gotta get this cover off. This particular one has, uh, let me get this camera in a better position. As two Phillips says up here. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Now you gotta, gotta take off uh, gas tank to the shroud. I'm late. I'm a little lazy today. I'm not gonna use a, a drill to do this. Aside, I like to. Yeah, I'm gonna need to put a new uh, fuel line in here. This is all cracked. There is no gas in it that I could tell. Or is there? There's a little bit of gas in it. What looks to be a gas in it. So, I'm gonna put that back. I may actually take it off. I'm not sure. But, um, I gotta get to the. Get over here. The sun's bad. That's better. Got to get this, this bolt out. Like to uh, pull that out and turn it. Now, you, when you do that, make sure you're, it's pretty clean down under there. Otherwise, you will get dirt into the motor where the oil is. Now, now, Got to get the uh, rest of the engine uh, shroud off, which is three ace bolts. Let's just make sure. Uh, something tells me this has been off. this has been off before because they come off pretty easy. Got this off. Let's go re fix the rewind. Haven't re redid a rewind. In a Let's just go ahead and put a cord in it first. So let me. Yeah. Okay, restring one of these. You've seen me do this before on other other mowers. Okay. I'm gonna... Take this all the way out, as far as it will go, and that probably isn't, let me see here, isn't probably where, it, this, ropes pro, this rope's probably been shortened. So I'm gonna take a screwdriver, just uh, stick this in, somewhere like that hold it and now I'm gonna take the old rope out I 
know. There's no re they didn't say why they were giving this away. Just that it had been sitting for a while. I bet you what happened is the rope bull string broke, and they didn't know how to fix it or didn't weren't willing to fix it. So they stuck it in their shed and sat there for years. So now that I got this off, I got to go. Uh, cut me some more rope but me uh get that out let me get my there we go this is obviously Probably not enough. Let me go size up some ropes. Uh, 100 foot of rope, I don't know how many years ago, off of Amazon. Uh, so, if you do this a lot, you can, you can uh, buy a reel of it and it'll save you some money. Uh, this is just the brand I used at the time because it was the best deal. So I'm gonna take a just to keep this in place, I'm gonna put that like that and I'm gonna wind it back in and let's see how far it goes. And then probably uh, go from there. Ready. I store these, the rope, this is what I used last. I always burn the ends of it, makes it easier to get in. So what you're gonna do is, I normally do it the reverse way, but this time I'm gonna be, Go this, go this way, and uh, just to make sure I got everything. Many on those pliers, and I'm gonna just put this in like this. <clears throat> Let me see if I can hold this, and this is the hardest part to thread this. Yeah, there. Got it the second time. So, now we make a, a figure eight knot. Got my knot. Um, I like to, um, in addition to tying it away, I like to, I like to burn this part of the knot just a little bit to get it uh no i'm thinking it might make it a little sticky and then when it cools it, it it'll hold better but i don't know it doesn't hurt no. got the knot in there and now we're going to let this thing slowly rewind rewound and what I'll do is I'll oh whoops oh it goes a little more I'm gonna, put this, I'm gonna loop it up a little bit too. this uh shroud back on I will cut the rope to fit on the handlebars with the um, pull cord handle so it'll be just put this on you don't need to see that you saw me take it off it goes on the opposite way Those of you who want to see the model, whatever, date code, this looks like it's from 2000, because there's your your code number. Um, where's this 2006? I don't I can't remember if it's the first two digits or is it the second two digits. I think this says it was made 2000, uh, June 23rd, and on the line 57, uh, the Briggs line. Important, don't got to put the oil dipstick back uh, first before you put this the gas tank on, otherwise, you'll have to take the gas tank off again. Made that mistake too many times. So, 
So now we gotta put the pull cord through here so we can then size it up for later. Now I'll just put on the rest of the 516 bolts and I'll meet you in a, uh, after I've already uh, sized up the rope. As you see it, well, it goes up to about there. It, it does turn like five times in the coil, in the recoil. So put the cord back into the handle. You just, after you burn, after you cut and burn the end of it, with a, like a lighter or a match or whatever you want, you have, you uh, feed it through here and then you, you pull it through with um, some needle nose pliers or something or whatever you, whatever you have. So you may need a mini pick, you could use a big nail or a, a small flathead screwdriver to kind of help it down there. You probably can't see it, it's there. Uh, now I could be able to take my needle pliers and just uh, pull it out. Put it, do another knot here, um, like the other one, and uh, tighten it up. Okay. No, I should have did this before, but let's check the oil. No, if you can see it, uh, you can't. Ah, can't see it, but it's just above the full, and it looks to be good oil. So, let's take a look at the air filter and see if we. Filter looks pretty good. Could be shaken out a little bit. It's got a pre-filter in here. So this apparently was taken care of. New spark plug, new air filter. Uh, fuel line's bad, but uh, let's... Uh, got something that resembles gas in it. Uh, let me uh, shoot some carb spray in there and try to prime it and see how... Uh, this is run. I, I hear it priming. I we'll hope that's gas in there. Let's see. Let's take it outside. Uh, you heard me bang it. It's uh, the float. It, the float didn't isn't seating, so it probably has some gummies inside. But let's see if it runs. See, it runs just idles a little low. I can override that by adjusting uh, the governor spring. I'll show you how to do that. And you do this while it's on most of the time. What you do is you take this, see the spring? If you make the spring tighter, it get runs high, uh, idles higher. So you just pull this a little bit. And that should idle a little bit higher. We can adjust it in a minute.
So that's how you adjust it. Um, I had burning off some residual water or oil or whatever. I'm gonna have to go through the carburetor on this because um, of the way it uh, leaked at first. Gonna make sure it's all uh, fine and I will have to change the fuel line. The oil looks good and the spark plug looks good. Um, you pull cord and we'll see from here. I'm gonna go through the carburetor. I'm gonna change the fuel line. I've got a couple of fuel line here. I, this might be too big, it may not, I don't know. Uh, inner diameter is all that matters. Um, so uh, it's long enough, but whether or not this inner diameter is too big is a different story. So it's just uh, just some fuel line I bought, I don't know, a couple years ago. So I'm gonna take all these off. These bolts here are 5 sixteenths. The fact that it leaked right after I uh, uh, I primed it eh, tells me that possibly the uh, floats uh, needle seat ne uh, needle seat or whatever uh, inside the carburetor is got, is dirty um, or um, and when I ba banked it on the ground it it seated it and that's not a good solution but it's a way you can get by just to test things so i'm gonna take this plate off slowly don't break the gasket yeah did not break the gasket it looks brand new uh, we'll clean off the back plate here um so let's go ahead and uh, replace the fuel line let me get my pliers just take your pliers the curved ones work better, so you can do that. And then over here, same thing. You may get some gas coming out, so be ready. I've got it tipped up a little bit, so there's not much gas in the gas tank. So. Okay, I'm gonna have to raise up the my jack stand a little bit to keep it from to keep it from spilling like that. So and then let's get take this off. This this fuel line is ba barely good. So let's let's uh line up some good fuel line the inner diameter is all that matters in it you see me uh getting a better position but inner diameter looks good so just gotta take these uh clamps off i'm just gonna take the bowl off see how far i have to go in to clean it's pissing out gas now always do this in a well ventilated area with no flame around normally I just take it off at the just take the whole carburetor off but since it ran see if I can get get away with a what we call it a quick and dirty it's not a good thing to do but sometimes it's, it works out see here here's your bull jet nut yeah the jet is clear you see the, you can see through that little hole there pretty good so let's just uh take the bowl, the bowl off and try not to mess up the gasket how i get the bowl off is usually just uh, take a back of a hammer and and that gets it back of a screwdriver um 
not bad at not bad at all uh i'll just spray this out and you see how the let me see if i can zoom in you see how this is flat across it that means it's good if it was pushed down that means you need to do a rebuild or a new seat but since it's not i can push it up like that it's good i'm just going to clean out the bowl spray it out spray out some here some of the air bleeds and call it a day uh, that's in the small engine world that's what we call it, quick and dirty uh so okay i've just kind of surface wise just kind of sprayed out all these holes uh in uh, the bowl nut and the bowl just and then just wiped it out see the bowl is pretty clean now the nut was pretty clean to begin with so i just shot some carb spray again so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick this uh in back in here and just uh tighten up the nut This one can be a little difficult to get in because it's uh, the position, but yeah. Wait, there, got it. And just take your, whatever thing you use to tighten up half inch or 13 mil. Just a little, just snug. And just put it all back together. The Measuring up the line here. Uh, this is, again, you know, if you need to get fuel line, just go to your auto parts store. They sell it by the foot, uh, usually. So, and take a piece of your old line with you because they come in different sizes. So, it looks like I need to cut it about right. Maybe right about here. Here's the old line. Let's see how that. Yeah, that's about right. Make it a little bit long so if I have to, I can cut it off more. Take my lineman pliers or whatever these are. All I know is they work better than the, uh, you know, those pliers for this. go and now we just uh, put the hose clamp on you want to do it by hand because you don't want to strip these out so kind of just Line them up. Start them by hand. And just, uh, these don't, do not make these real tight because um, you'll warp the plastic cover. Over what I did to this, put, uh, I wrapped it, put a new um, pull cord in it. I sharpened the blade. The oil is okay. The air filter is brand new. The spark plug looks almost brand new. Um, and I did a quick and dirty clean on the carburetor and I found this bag in my hoard that it's for another craftsman, but it fits it. So I uh, had a bag for this. Don't have a side discharge, uh, but uh, that'll be it for this one. I'll give you a final start here. I will clean this up before I sell it and, uh, and when I test it. Now I also lubed up the wheel adjusters. clean this up uh, before I sell it and test it. It had an interesting universal blade on it, but it worked. Later.